Welcome back guys, this is Srikant. Today we are going to talk about how to import JSON data into SQL Server. So first of all, we will talk about what is JSON. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation, which is a lightweight, uh, lightweight language which is used to transfer data from one machine to another machine. It doesn't require any special kind of software to open the file. How the data looks like? The data basically, JSON data always will look like key and the value. So the data will always be like you know key and the value that data you can say it's a JSON data perfect now I'm going to show you a sample data this is my table I'm just giving it name as let's say employee for example and I'm having a column called as a name then the second column is called as ID the first column is having Shrikan then Prashant like this one so I basically do have how many rows two rows one row and the second row and these are the column right so if I want to convert this data into the JSON format, I would convert something like this. First of all, I would just take the first column as a first key value and the another key value and I will close it in the braces, something like this. So name, Srikant, ID, 1. Hope you guys, you guys know about this. That's the reason you, you guys came here to understand the data. In this video, uh, my focus would be how to import the data that I am going to show you. Perfect. So this is just for those one who are new to the JSON. This is how my records will look like. This is my first record having a name Shrika ID 1. This is another record name Prashan ID is equal to 2. So JSON data is very easy to understand. Easy, anyone can understand. It doesn't require any special kind of software to understand. Perfect. Now what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a file. So I do have a file called as a 64kb.json. This is a file. Let me open it and let me show you how does it look like. So to open it, I can open it in a notepad itself. Let's open it. So as I said, I am, I might have you know multiple rows. That's the reason I would I would say that's a table. Perfect. In the table, I am knowing basically I would be having a multiple column. So for this one, I am having a four column: one, two, three, and the fourth. The first is name, language, ID, bio. What my requirement is basically now this is a JSON data. I want to see it in a tabular format. How I can do that? So to start a demonstration, how I am going to show you. So first of all, you need to load the data into the SQL Server. How do you load that? So for that we have to use a function called as open row set function. It's a bulk activity that's the reason we need to specify bulk then we need to pass a path and you know what will happen the output of this query will be a single value. So we need to say here single underscore character large object. So this is a keyword you need to use it here you need to provide a path. So what is my path I don't know so I will just go there right click and just simply click on properties. The moment I'll click the properties, I'll get the location here. Then I'll just copy the location. And I know the file name of the file is basically 64kb.json. This is any any file name which, or any location. You just need to provide it here. So what will happen when I run this query? I would get a single record. But you just need to give some aliases also. As date, as it is something. Just run it. If you don't provide alias, it will just show you error. So you just need to provide the alias then as I said the output will be a single column so what you need to do you just need to write some column here this is the column which is coming from the output so that's a bulk column now what I'm going to do I'm going to define a variable called as the JSON data and the data type will be the var care of max why max because I don't know how, mu how, how much data it has or uh, that's the reason I'm just going to take that variable now let's see what data we do have in the JSON data variable. I am not having anything because I have not passed that value, that variable here. So uh, now I would get this output, right? Perfect. Now what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how we can see this JSON data into the Tableau format. It's very easy. We need to use another function called as a open JSON. Here we need to pass this variable. See how simple it is. Then we need to specify how many columns we do have. Basically, we are having a four column. The first column is basically name, and you, you should know what kind of uh, data type you should provide. So I can say here it's a you know it's a var care. So name is var care of. I'm just giving it as a hundred. Then another data column I do have is basically what is that column? Language. Just take the language and the data type. I'm again giving it as a var care because I'm saying that's a Varchar data. Correct. Next column is ID. That is also again I am looking at it's a varchar. So I am just giving it as a varchar of 100. Then the next column I am seeing in this one is called as a BIO. That's a bio. 
so and I, that is also you know string data only so we'll just say var of 200 perfect now this is the column structure i have defined with uh, with this one so simply just run this query what will you get we'll get the output as a data see we basically uh, we basically access the file and got the data into the variable then we pass that variable to the open json variable and this data has been converted into the tabular format right now the next thing you might be having that can i store it into the table yeah you can i'm just creating another table let's say a uh, test or, or you can say data json any table whatever you feel you can either create a temporary or a permanent right so it depends on you so i just have created a table here so simply just write a select star from this one you would get the data and this data is permanent now this is how you know uh, process to access the json data now the next thing is that you you may have a question that now this file is fixed so for example i want to make it through ssis how i can do that through the ssis if you want to make it just do one thing just create it as you know script and define one more variable let's say declare path for example i'm just defining as a var care of 200 another variable and instead of this value what you need to do you just need to provide a path here right let's say for this one Correct, and uh, you, you you need to provide the path here, and when you provide the path, that time what you need to do, maybe you can just convert like this. So this is SSIS variable. So what you need to do, you just need to take this SSIS variable, and you need to uh, you need to concatenate with this query with you know string, and uh, that that path need to be replaced. Maybe you can go with the uh, loop container, so you will get all the file name. Let's say if you have the multiple file like that. Just run the loop and uh, all the file will be accessed through the script and every uh, step by step the data will be accessed and it will move to the main table this is how you know uh, this is how you know the way to access the json data hope you guys enjoyed and uh, understood how to access the json file into the sql server and thanks for watching have a great day